Hello guys, welcome back to another episode here on European Confessions. There is a message that I want to share with you guys and this message, it comes from a translation of a message that I received. So when I spoke with our dear brother, the first thing that he was saying that is, my brother, I don't even know how it is possible. A few days ago, we received our money so this money it is the money that our boss gives to us after we have started working each and every january this is what he does so in december when other people are getting their bonuses we only get half of our bonus then the rest of the bonus we get it when we come back to work in january so right now my brother i am working on a certain farm so at this farm the money that we are earning it is not a lot but whenever it is december at least it is far much better because our boss what he does is that each and every month he takes 500 rands from our salary then he keeps it for us at the end of the year he gives us some of that money that he would have kept for us and when we come back to work in january then he will give us the rest of the money including the bonus so a lot of people at that farm that we are working at they've managed to buy some good second-hand vehicles because of the way that our boss tries to assist us financially even though we are not earning a lot so recently my brother when this thing happened me losing my money i didn't even go back home for the december holidays because i had spoken with my wife and we said that instead of us going back home in december let us wait until people would have gone back home and returned back to south africa then we can travel because we didn't want to travel whilst there is too much pressure so after we had prepared everything we had bought some groceries and some clothes for the kids and on the day that we were supposed to go and remove the money from the bank so that we can travel with cash that was when we saw a strange thing that happened because our app our bank application it just gave us a notification there was money that had been removed from the account but when we try to go into the application to see the history if there is anyone who had scammed us or if anyone had used any of our banking cards but we see there is nothing there my brother it seems as if there is just a spirit that broke into our bank up and just stole the money even when we spoke with the bank they just said that we did not make any purchase but the money that was there in the account it is missing my brother so this thing it really pains me a lot all along it had been happening to many of my relatives i have relatives that are overseas and i have some relatives that are here in south africa as well as back home when i speak about my relatives that are in zim you know that most of us we do not keep our money in the bank so we just thought that maybe since most of our relatives are staying in the village the ones that are facing this challenge that i recently faced me and my wife of just losing money we just thought that since they are staying in the village maybe the rats were the ones that were stealing the money because most of them when they would come to complain in the family group they would say that the money it was inside a pillow or the money was underneath the mattress then the money just went missing usually if it is a spirit that steals this money what it does my brother it does not steal all of your money it makes sure that it just leaves sometimes if there is a coin or maybe a smaller amount on the money that you would have been on the money that you would have been keeping let's say if you have managed to budget somewhere around eight thousand rands like me and my wife had managed to budget then all that money was taken the only amount that was remaining it was just an 80 rand this is what this spirit does if there is like 
50 US dollars in your pocket, it will just leave 5 US dollars. It always does this thing. The moment that our relatives started complaining, we said that, ah, maybe they are rats. But right now, my brother, I can see that all the problems that used to affect some of our family members, it's now affecting me and my wife. And I don't even know what to do. As a man, there are days when you just feel like you cannot do anything anymore and you feel that maybe it is just much better that you die. Because when I look at my life, my brother, I don't know if I'll ever be able to face the challenges that I am about to face. Because when you look at our family, my brother, when you are facing this challenge of losing money, I have some relatives that have traveled to another town so as to purchase a vehicle or another property. But when you get to that city, you'll find out that the money that was in your pocket, the money will just go missing. That is the type of a spirit that we are fighting against as a family. As a human being, my brother, you can pray, you can fast. Like right now, me and my wife, we are even questioning our own church because the way that we had been fasting from 1 January up to the day that we lost the money, we have just lost hope because how can a demonic spirit steal something away from you while least you are busy praying and busy fasting? Why can't God just protect us? Because this money, my brother, we worked the whole year to all the people that have worked on the farm. Working on the farm, it is not an easy thing to do. It is very difficult. And for you to save something like 8,000 rands, well, at least you are working on the farm, it is very difficult. Only for something just to come and to steal you, to rob from you, and there is nothing that you can do about it. My brother... This is just the tip of the iceberg. In our family, people are suffering. And when you look at our family, it does not matter if you are in the United Kingdom or if you are here in South Africa or back home in Zim, we are just the same. No one is above the other person. I think that our relatives that are in the UK, they are worse because there is this other uncle of mine. He went to the UK. It is somewhere around 10 years ago when he went there to the UK. But when the World Cup was done here in South Africa, he was working there in Cape Town at a certain restaurant. That was when he said that he wanted to travel to the UK and to be an asylum seeker. We went there to the United Kingdom. He had sold everything. He had sold the piece of land that had been left behind by his father, as well as selling a lot of their property that they had here in South Africa. So it was him, his wife, and his two kids at that time, soon after the World Cup. If I tell you that since that year, when he traveled to the United Kingdom, up until today, he has never been able to work because his papers, they are still being processed and he can't work, he can't do anything. The way that he is surviving, it is because he is getting some donations from this other church, but that church is not allowed to pay him anything, even though he goes and he mows the lawn and he makes sure that the church is always clean, but the church is not allowed to give him any money. So he is just there in UK, but he is nothing. He is more like someone who is just a homeless person. That is the type of the spirit that is fighting against us as a family. So the other story that I wanted to tell you, my brother, it is the story of my sisters, like the sisters that my mother gave birth to, like my sisters that my mother gave birth to, not my cousin's sisters. What happened to them is that when we were growing up, our mom then passed away. When our mom passed away, that was when our father got married again. When he got married, 
He then had this other wife of his. He was now having two wives, and these wives, they were fighting against each other. And we heard that our father, he, he then went to a traditional healer. He was looking for a love charm so that he can control his wives because his wives were always fighting for his attention. And when he went there, the elderly people in our family, they say that, Things seemed to be okay at our homestead, but then our father got so sick and from there on, people do not want to tell us the truth. But some of our relatives that we have spoken to, they said that one night there was a traditional healer who came flying into the homestead. This traditional healer just appeared from nowhere. Then that traditional healer then said to my father, I am the one who has been making you to go sick because you still remember that when you came to my homestead and you said that you wanted to be rich, I gave you a lucky charm oil and you said that you were going to bring it back or you were going to repay me with some of your cattle. Where are those items right now? Our relatives who told us this story, they said that after our father had said that he does not know where he placed all of those items and he could not give that traditional healer any of his remaining cattle because he was supposed to go and have an operation that was supposed to be done on him. So he wanted to sell the cattle, but he said, please just give me some space. Once I am okay, I am going to work and I am going to repay you all of your money. My father then lost all of those cattle in very mysterious circumstances. Some of the people that told us this story, they even suspected that maybe it was the charms of that traditional healer that made all of the cattle that were now remaining after my father had been selling his cattle. After that, my father became a very poor man. While he was a poor man, he then started going around visiting some local traditional healers. He then started sleeping with my sisters. This is a personal story that one of my sisters, the youngest one, told me. My sister said that it was in that time whereby the maize mealies will be ripe and a lot of people, what they do is that they go into the maize fields, then they will take a few, then they will start buying them on the fire. So on that night when our father had came from the beer hall and he was drunk, he then woke up my sister's but he said that to my little sister, she was the one who was supposed to accompany him so that he can go into the fields and get some maize mealies. While they were going there, my little sister said that he saw a man that was walking in front of them, but this man, he had a large tail that looked like a monitor lizard. Then that man disappeared into the fields. Once my father had entered into the maize fields and he said that my sister was supposed to wait for him but my father never came out of the maize fields this was for something like 30 minutes so my little sister she was young at that time and she was really scared she then started running back home when she was running back home that was when she said that there was a man that looked like our father who then hit her with a very long stick at the back of her neck and she fell down and she was then dragged into those maize fields by that man who seemed to be like our father and after that the man started abusing our sister this thing it happened to all of my sisters until my father impregnated all of my sisters right now my sisters they all have children that they had with our father after that that was when our father passed away but when our father passed away it was really scary to look at because it seemed as if at the time of his death there was something that he was looking at something that was really scary because no one could look at my father twice they tried to close his eyes soon after he had passed away but his eyes they kept on opening up each and every time that the elderly people in the family would try to close his eyes as for his mouth my brother when he passed away 
his mouth was opened as if he was screaming that is how my father was buried so the elderly people in the family they say that since our father passed away that was when they started to notice that there was some bad stuff that kept on happening in the family like people losing money and a lot of weird things happening in the family so right now as a family we are not united because each and every one they are doing the things that they think are going to help them to flee from this spirit that can even steal money from the bank as for me and my wife we are even confused we do not even know where to turn to because all of these years i have been having this pride whereby whenever i think about all the things that our father did i just say that by the grace and by the blood of jesus christ i have been washed clean i am not linked in any way to my deceased father but right now my brother i do not have any confidence at all because of the way that money just disappeared in our account